Are we going to start the game? My mom was on, on my ass about the rent. Dude. Don't get overconfident, Zeke. All right, once I kick your ass in this game, I'm gonna send you home to your mother broke and crying. Guys, don't get into it. Besides, I think my luck is changing. I'm gonna take it all this time. But ow, you always lose. Anyway, why the fuck is there a four seat here? Well, I met this new guy at Holly Polly's and I invited him. What the fuck, man? Calm down. I'm sure he's nice. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you can't just invite anyone you want here. Well, come on, he's, he's really nice. You know, he gave me some good workout tips. Doesn't mean shit. Speak of the devil. Be civil. Besides, you take all this money. Hey, Joe. Hey, man, how are you? I'm good. good. How are you? Too. Good I'm, I'm pretty you. good. Thanks all for inviting right. me, man. Glad you can make a game so set. We're all waiting for you. So everybody's here. Yeah, go right on in. There he is. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. So, Joe, this is Al right Hi. here. How are you? And that's Zeke. Say hello. Hi, mate. I, I can't remember the last time I had guys poker night. Thank you. So, uh, Bob tells us you guys met at Holly Polly. Um, yeah, we, we all go there. Okay. We met the other day, and uh, Bob is such a nice guy. We really hit it off, and he invited me over. So are we going to chit chat, or are we going to play the game? I'll deal. Uh, so, Joe, tell us about yourself. Well, I really like to see others. And I like pizza. Okay, nice. Um, but what do you do for a living? For example, I make the best artisanal mayonnaise. Mm, all right, uh, I'm an entertainer. Oh, a comedian? A show type of thing? Yeah, he's a dancer at Trixie's. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Anybody do anything interesting recently? Uh, the other night I went out with this prime piece of ass. She, she was so hot. Model, Eastern European, mm. really smart. Mm. So, you know, I took it to Luger's, the best steak in town. You yeah, know? it is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're there, we're having small talk, and she's blabbering on and on about some feminine bullshit or whatever. And I'm there just listening, I'm like, oh, you know, honey, do you want to be a doctor? That's great, um, good for you. By the end of the night, when we're finished eating, this broad actually reaches for the check. This bitch pays for the dinner. So I'm like, fuck this. I leave and I go down to my favorite rubber tug joint down the street. Yeah, so, you know, overall it was a good night. Bob, how would you like if someone just left you on a date? That actually happened to me last week. I was the one who's be who was being ditched. That sounds terrible. What happened? I'm glad you asked. So, there I was meeting up with Nancy. You guys remember Nancy, the one who makes the sock puppets out of recycled yarn? We decided to go to the Schmorgsburg to set up my mandy stand. It was beautiful. We, the, the smell, the, we, the smell of the park, and it was just like, it was great. And out of nowhere comes this manic clown. Comes up to us, blowing his nose in my face. It was just, it was horrible. Well, uh, I like clowns. Not this one. You don't like this one. I, try, I asked politely for it to go away. Mm-hmm. And it didn't. Well, I did the only thing a rational person would do. You asked me again? No! Oh. I actually kicked him in his clown balls and poured my best mayonnaise on his head. <laughs> and then, you know what? You know what Nancy did? What? She helped the clown. And the clown that was harassing me and, like, assaulted me. So the clown assaulted me. She's a bitch! She's a, she's a cunt. She's a cunt. Bitch, the cunt! She's a cunt. Cunt. Wow, she's, she does sound really crazy. Yeah, she is. She is. Anything going on with you, Joe? You been on any interesting dates? Um, oh, well, I was in uh, this date. I met her after I got off work. She was a little bit older than me, but she had the body. She was pretty smart, huh? Uh, I guess. And anyway, uh, we had a few drinks. And later she wanted to go to her place. We got there eventually. But I remember we had to be really quiet while going in. I think she has a kid. But anyway, uh, she led me down to the basement. And over there, there were weird 
swings and chains and stuff. We're making out, and she rips on my clothes, and then she slaps me, and then shit got weird. And all of a sudden, she walks behind me, and she drops to her knees, and gives me a rusty trombone. A rusty trombone? A rusty trombone. Yeah, uh, you know, when somebody licks your ass while giving you a, a rich around. Oh yeah, a rusty trombone, yeah. Well, you know, it's nice to hear a story that actually involves sex. Thanks, really? bro. Really, Zeke? Really? It's not like you know what he's talking about. Shut up, bro. I was at this rave the other day, and I met this hot Brazilian chick. Tall, tan, and her ass. Move her ass. I took it back to my place. You mean your mom's? Shut the fuck up, Bob. <laughs> Whatever. I take her back, and right when I'm about to seal the deal, your mom walks in and steals her away from you. Fuck you, Bob. <laughs> Zeke, your stories always start and finish the same way. Tell me your mother didn't walk in and steal her away from you. Like last time. Fuck you, Cooper douchebag. So how is Svetlana anyway? Svetlana, huh? Don't you dare say my mom's name ever again. <laughs> that was the name of my last date. I fall. Peter's here. Thank you.